Hello, my name is Farron Davis, and the focus of my final presentation is dry jack pine forested plant communities located in north central Minnesota. Dry jack pine forests have sandy soils that typically lack nutrients and are located on sandy outwash plains. These areas are drought prone and normally receive 58 to 68 centimeters of precipitation each year, a majority of that occurring or released in the winter. The growing season length varies from 111 to 131 days. This plant community's canopies are dominated by jack pine and usually lack a sub canopy layer. The shrub layer is patchy with a sparse to, to patchy ground layer. This plant community is considered a fire dependent system and needs fire to perpetuate itself. As you can see, this plant community is located in north central Minnesota. The left picture was taken from the Field Guide to Native Plant Communities in Minnesota and those red dots represent releve plots with confirmed dry pine woodland plant communities. The right picture was taken from Land Fire and the three colors represent three different types of jack pine arboreal forests. According to Land Fire, similar dry pine forests are located in northwestern Wisconsin. This presentation focuses on dry jack pine forests located in Minnesota but I will incorporate some species associated with Wisconsin. A dominant species in the canopy of dry jack pine forests is Pinus banksiana, or jack pine, a native carnivorous cone-bearing tree. This species is relatively small in relation to other pine species. It normally grows to be 17 to 20 meters tall and gets to be about 20 to 25 centimeters wide at diameter breast height. This tree has short needles that are about two to five centimeters long and thin bark about one to two and, a, two and a half centimeters thick. In sandy soils, this species can develop a tap root up to two and a half meters. Jack pines have many fire adaptions and life history traits that allow it to survive and promote intense stand replacing fires. For example, its branches do not self prune, but rather act as a ladder fuel with fires when fires do occur. Jack pines naturally regenerate from serotonous cones that survive intense fires. Fire or another type of heat source is needed to melt the resin within the cones to release its small wing seeds. Jack pines begin producing seed crop at five years, but can produce seeds as early as three years. This tree is an abundant seed producer, and a stand of jack pine can have as many as 20 million seeds per acre in unopened cones, and the seeds can remain viable in closed cones for years. The seed also needs exposed mineral soil to successfully germinate, but once on exposed soil can germinate within a mean of 10 days in 18 degrees Celsius weather. This tree is considered a fast growing, shade intolerant, early successional species that is relatively short lived, but can live up to 200 years without disturbance. The oldest recorded jack pine found in Minnesota is 243 years old in the Boundary Water Canoe Area Wilderness located in northern Minnesota. Jack pine is a common species found throughout the Great Lakes region and up into the boreal forests of Canada. A common and abundant shrub layer species found in this plant community is American hazelnut or Coriolis americana. It is a shade intolerant rhizominous shrub growing one to three meters tall. This species is not fire resistant but can re-sprout post fire from root rhizomes. The ground layer in dry jack pine forests are mostly composed of dry woodland shade intolerant species. Pennsylvania sedge or Carex pennsylvanica is a low growing rhizominous plant that takes advantage of bare ground post fire and also regenerates from rhizomes. Although the Kirkland's warbler has not been found breeding or nesting in Minnesota in recent years, Researchers suggest that suitable jack pine habitat is available in some parts of Minnesota, specifically in north central Minnesota. Currently, the Kirkland's warbler is found in northern Michigan, Wisconsin, and Ontario, Canada. This bird is a specialist species that only nests in large stands of young jack pine that are one and a half to seven and a half meters tall. The tree's age is critical because the bird needs younger trees with the lower branches intact to protect its nest from predators. Without stand replacing wildfires to continually regenerate new jack pine stands, the Kirkland's warbler populations have declined. Cowbirds have all caused their populations to decline due to net nest parasitism. They lay eggs in the warbler's nest and often remove the host's eggs. 
In 1967, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service listed the Kirkland's warbler as an endangered species. There were only 400 birds counted in 1971. A Kirkland's warbler recovery team was established in 1973 to prioritize conservation actions. This team recommended that 38,000 acres of nesting habitat be available to reach a recovery goal. They recommended that land managers prioritize management actions that created young jack pine stands. This often meant clear-cutting thousands of acres of forest and replanting jack pine seedlings. Kirkland's warbler populations have rebounded and it is estimated that 2,300 pairs exist today. The recovery population goal has been met and there is currently a proposal to delist this species. Spruce grouse is a bird that lives in boreal forests in Minnesota, including dry jack pine forests in north central Minnesota. This bird was listed on Minnesota's species of greatest conservation need, but this species is not well monitored and more information is needed about its status. Its habitat varies, but the bird seems to favor young jack pine, black and white spruce, and tamarack stands. It is believed that the bird prefers trees with intact lower branches to provide protection against predators like the Glen's warbler. Its diet consists mostly of short conifer needles, berries, and flowers. Its population faces threats due to climate change and changing forest management practices. Currently, the Minnesota DNR are conducting distribution and population surveys and looking for more precise information to manage forests to improve their habitat. Historically, fires were common throughout dry jack pine forests. Public land surveys uh, indicate that the rotation of catastrophic intense stand replacing fires was about 110 years, and the rotation of surface fires or low intensity fire was about 30 years. The combined estimate of all fires happened on a rotation of about 22 years. According to land fire, the fire return interval is estimated to be between 15 to 60 years. More research is needed on the frequency of historical surface fires, but the rotation of intense fires has helped jack pine stands regenerate naturally. Dry pine forests face many issues including low natural regeneration of jack pine, urban development, invasive pests and plants, and misguided management practices. As we have learned throughout this semester, Many North American native plant communities' historic fire regimes were extremely altered because of fire suppression policies implemented in the early 1900s. Jack pine stands need intense, continuous crown fires to naturally regenerate to reduce or remove organic material to expose mineral soils and close and open close to rottenness jack pine cones. Prescribed fire has been shown to promote regeneration under certain conditions. As climate changes, suitable habitat for mountain pine beetle extends farther into northern and western regions of North America. Studies have shown that mountain pine beetle will attack jack pine, and the movement of infested mountain pine beetle wood and the natural movement of bark beetle are two possible pathways that could facilitate the introduction of mountain pine beetles into Minnesota. If this movement occurs, it will disrupt the historic disturbance regime and could alter fire behavior and fire frequency within the jack pine forests. Because jack pine did not co-evolve with mountain pine beetle, it lacks chemical and physical defenses to defend trees against colonization. Finally, managing jack pine stands exclusively for Kirkland's warbler populations has caused unintended ecological consequences. Land managers continue to mechanically remove older jack pines and replant jack pine seedlings. This management sequence has transformed jack pine forests both spatially and temporally. To accommodate Kirkland's warblers, the forest's long-term variability and heterogeneity has been compromised, resulting in reduced biodiversity and resilience. The creation of Kirkland's warbler plantations have also disrupted the disturbance regime by eliminating fire. High-intensity fires often leave unburned patches or stringers that serve as an important seed source and wildlife and plant refuge. The stringers contain biological legacies that help repopulate understory plant communities post-fire and provide habitat and food sources for wildlife. Thank you for listening to my presentation about dry jack pine forests, and I look forward to learning about new 
uh, native plant communities and their fire regimes. Thank you.